Hello, I'm Peter Kite. I've been a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for the last 40 years. But the character I'm going to introduce to you is Dennis O'Brien. And I'm going to ask you, when did you first know about the Church of Jesus Christ? In, in 1962 in British Columbia, Canada, uh, missionaries that came up from Washington State across the border from Canada uh, were the first people that I met in that direction. And what they did do was introduce me to the uh, structure of the church, which been mainly that uh, Jesus Christ was the head of that church. Mm -hmm. And from there onwards, it, always, it was like planting a seed. It was like somebody impressing me with something that I'd never thought possible. That is, at that time, there was a prophet on earth, which was very unusual because most people in the world think otherwise. Dennis, eventually you came back to England. How did you meet the missionaries again? Well, they came knocking at our door, as they usually do, and we invited them in. Uh, one thing I was kind uh, of homesick for was the American accent, and that triggered it off. And, of course, my son Peter got involved with the church then, and eventually became baptised in uh, 1978. I didn't commit myself at that time to be in the church, but I did take, made every effort to get Peter moving around for me to be, whether it would be going to church or going to um, family home evenings or just moving missionaries around from one place to the other when needed, because obviously in those days they used to travel by bus. Did you join in the lessons and Well, go well most, the most certainly, because... I found that by doing that, I could talk to Peter on the same level and encourage him to uh, read as well, which he did. Dennis, after a number of years, um, you weren't taking Peter to church then, but an event happened that drew you towards the church. Uh, can you explain what happened at that time? Well, I was going through a very bad time, along with my wife's illness, along with my son who had been badly injured, and I needed... Uh, something to help me and of course my thoughts turn to you and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Initially I did come over because of a problem with the house next door, they were extending it. I wanted to ask your opinion on what were the ups and downs and wherefores of, as regards the situation. Mm -hmm. You did help me in a good way but after that I realised that it would be a good idea if I did go to your church in order to kind of give something in your direction for what you've done for me. And so consequently, uh, after a little while, I said, well, I'd like to go back to your church and you invite me to go along, and I did do. And from that time onwards, it came to a point whereby, with me going through all this trauma at home, that by going to the church, it made all the difference to how I handled it, and I felt that much better about it, or more secure. How did it help you? It helped me spiritually. It also helped me with uh, my own illnesses, and also with th that I was strong enough also to be able to work with my wife and my younger son in order to sort of do what I think is essential, look after your family. Ernest, how did you feel when you were baptised and confirmed into the church? Well, I was elated because at last I'd come into the church, which I'd needed badly for a very long while. And it uh, was a, one of the most momentous days, days of my life. When you became baptised, how did that change the feelings you had about your relationship with God? Well, I did feel that I was closer to God. And also, I was able to sort of feel the, what should I say, support of, by being a member of the church. And that made a lot of difference to helping me. What was going on in my life was so disturbing that I was able to handle it that much better. Dennis, having been in the church then for a time... How do you think God answered some of your prayers? Well, I felt 
I felt much stronger and able to carry on with my life and still look after my family, giving them the attention that they needed. Also, I didn't feel the pain that I usually feel with arthritis and of course concern about my art and other illnesses that uh, engulfed me and so it was a great support in that direction. So Dennis, now being a member of the church, how did you feel when you went to sacrament at fast and testimony meetings and services like that? Well I did realise that it was important that each Sunday we did renew our vows or our covenants with the, God, with the Lord as regards the sacraments. And it was so, that's the main point of being in the church, renewing the sacrament uh, on those two occasions. How do you feel about people who are in the church and their effect upon you? Well, they gave me tre tremendous support, very compassionate, very uplifting, and also encouragement. Overall, it was a wonderful experience you know, going through that time. It helped me also to get over the death of my wife, which was a great loss to each and every member of the family. And how did they help in that respect? Well, the main thing is that they wanted to be, help me in many ways, if possible. But as regards, say, cooking and food and things like that, I had offers in that direction. And I did receive a lot of gifts right regards biscuits, food and stuff like that. But in saying that I wanted to be as independent as was possible by looking after the house, looking after the family and cooking, which I can quite experience that. And did they help you with the planning of the service and was that to you? Oh well when satisfaction? that part I will say this that uh, during the course of the service I was sat and the bishop was looking at me and I was looking at him. And also, because I felt so good about what was, what was happening, I just kind of indicated to him everything's fine. How did you feel, Dennis, when you first went to the temple? Were you able to witness baptisms of your ancestors done by other people on your behalf in 2013? Well, as we arrived at the um, entrance to the temple, there were these beautiful gardens that I was so impressed with. There was different sort of conical shaped trees which were beautifully shaped, also coniferous trees that were beautifully shaped, in addition to the grounds themselves whereby there was so much beautifully polished sort of granite that was so uplifting to look at. But that was my first impression, this being outside this temple. But then as I went, moved into the temple, and we moved into the ordinances of baptism for the dead, I did witness the, somebody sort of taking my place and sort of being baptised on my behalf for my forebears. And that was the, my first impression. I thought that was an outstanding situation. So Dennis, how did you feel when you went for your own endowments in March 2015? Well, it was a very momentous occasion because when I arrived there, there were a lot of people uh, doing what we were aiming to do by going into the temple and going through all the ordinance that was very needed to improve my commitment in the church. So Dennis... The third time you went to the temple was very, very special because this was to be sealed for time and all eternity to your wife and uh, to be sealed to your parents, both of your wife and yourself. How did you feel about that? Well, I was thankful in as much as I'd not been too well just there to previously. And also for a long period of time, because of my health, I was wondering if ever I would get to that point. And so it was a sigh of relief when it came to the point where I could do that. The experience during the course of the sealing was very spiritual and very, very emotional because I did realise how important it was that I did get sealed to my wife and that looking ahead we could be 
together for into eternity. Dennis, you've had many medical problems in your life and some of them very, very serious ones. How do you feel your approach now and your mentality is towards those and how has it helped being in the church? Well, many years ago I did contact tuberculosis. My, my sister contacted tuberculosis and she died. I didn't. And I'd only been married a couple of years when I had it. After that, we moved over to Canada and uh, managed to get sort of well again as regard the tuberculosis was concerned. But then I did eventually start with uh, angina 38 years ago. And I've had uh, quite a few ups and downs with that. I've eventually had open heart surgery, which I seem to recover quite well from. And also after that, I did have this uh, hip operation, which I thought was more severe. They were more of a like after shock, post operative shock. But slowly but surely, I've overcome that. And also, the another thing that I've been involved with is uh, prostate cancer, which in most cases, the people I know of, that friends of mine have died. And so I've been thankful that through, uh, through God that I've been able to sort of, you know, handle these things and able to continue to the point where in later life my wife became very ill. My son had a very serious accident. That The situation was very tough to handle. And so in saying that, through prayer and through my joining of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I've been able to handle one of the worst periods of my life.